Hello, my name is Myra Zuckerman, and this is Tasty SOS Cooking Show. Four years ago, I, 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 have, I have an autoimmune disease, and four years ago, I found out about this way of cooking through a doctor who can either reverse or really make a big change in autoimmune disease without taking any medicine. And I went to this doctor, and I've had a lot of success with it. Can food still taste good without salt, oil, and sugar? It can, and today we're gonna to be focusing on sugar because sugar has zero nutritional content to it, and it also is, is not good for you. And some people can eat a little bit, and for some of us, we really need to stay away from it. I have a very simple and fast recipe for you. And it has berries, mashed bananas, unsweetened applesauce, oats, cashews, nutmeg, and cinnamon. This is one of my fastest recipes. Kids love it, adults love it. In goes the mashed bananas, the applesauce, again, unsweetened, oats, cashews, berries, I put, I can, you can put cinnamon, ginger, or nutmeg. I'm going to put a little bit of cinnamon in here today and a little bit of nutmeg. I, I just put a small amount and you can substitute any of those three. Then you mix it up. This is a wonderful, wonderful recipe to do with children. They love making it and they love eating it. And then they get to learn that there's alternatives to eating sugar, which is a good thing, right? It's also, it's very fast to prepare. You just put it in the oven at 350 and cook it. It's beautiful. I don't know if you can see it from where you are, but it's so pretty. And now I'm gonna put it in the oven and that's it for now. I'll bring it back and show it to you when it's done. That's it, that's how fast it is. I did do prep ahead of time though, so it's really one of the fastest recipes I have. Hi, this is Myra Zuckerman. I'm back again with a second recipe from SOS Cooking. I neglected to say at the beginning that SOS stands for salt, oil, sugar-free. And this is another sugar-free recipe. It's called chocolate truffles. This is a recipe children love. Adults love it too. I, I guess I'm especially, I'm especially thrilled when children love things that are sweet that don't have sugar. These are the ingredients. These are chopped up dates, coconut, chia seeds, unsweetened chocolate powder, and almond butter. What you do is you put it in the blender. So I'm gonna put in the dates, chopped up dates, cocoa powder, chia seeds, almond butter. You will notice I'm not putting in the coconut because we roll them in the coconut. All right. I'm not gonna talk right now because I'm putting this on. I'm gonna check it. Just wanna get those dates as smashed as I can. One more time. Kids find this fascinating, this whole process of it being in the inside of the food processor. Now we take it out. And this is the sticky part. It's in here and um, 
Then some people enjoy this and some people find it too sticky. Some kids like it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm sprinkling, oh, sorry. I'm sprinkling coconut in this little bowl and then I'm gonna roll these like this. One thing that can be fun is doing it in different sizes. So I've, I've had some kids that love making super tiny ones, just really little, and then rolling them in the coconut. These can be either put in the refrigerator afterwards if you want them harder, or they can be eaten immediately. And what's really fun is it's hard for the kids, obviously, not to eat them, but um, I usually let them eat a little bit and try to wait until the end. But it's, it's a good thing too for them, just the rolling and, and we're not doing it now, but there's a sister recipe to this called lemon truffles that is made from cashews and the coconut goes right in them. It is um, less sweet than this one. This one has a full cup of, of dates in it. So it's, it's very, very sweet. So far, I think I've done this with five different groups of kids and they, they always ask, ask me to ask if we can do it again. It's fantastic. I'm not gonna do a lot more, but I hope you take the time to experiment with this and make it. I neglected to tell you how, how, how much is in here. The other dish that I made, the berry banana dish, it doesn't matter, you just toss it in but actually there are measurements to this. So there's a half a cup of almond butter, three tablespoons of chia seeds, two tablespoons of unsweetened chocolate, and one cup of chopped nuts, chopped dates, I'm sorry. Here is the result. This is the banana berry, bananas and berries and applesauce and oat dish, all out of the oven. These are the chocolate truffles. I had fun making a little family, big to smallest. And as you see, these are all different sizes. One of my wishes has been to do birthday parties for kids of several different treats that are made from fruits and things like that without sugar. This, is, this show is being shot at Acton TV and Acton Mass. I've lived here for 20 years and I just discovered it. It's a hidden gem for those of us that live in Acton. And I'm very grateful to know about it, that it exists. This is Myra Zuckerman at Tasty SOS Cooking. And if you have any questions, please, or, or tell me what how the recipes went for you, please email me at myra.tastysoscooking at gmail.com. Have a tasty time trying these. Thank you. Mm -hmm.